Getting into cryptocurrency, I'm trying to get my piece of the pie. What's going on everyone? Your boy Juan Valdez here and we're going to be talking about getting into cryptocurrency. For those of you guys that haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the V fam. Obviously you guys know Bitcoin, crypto, it's been a, you know, obviously a huge and trending topic, you know, for quite some time now. It's actually picked up and it's been going up, you know, for a long time and, you know, a lot of people are talking about it. So obviously it's like, you know, it's a topic that you definitely have heard something about and it may have piqued your interest. You know, same thing here. You know, a lot of you guys that know me know me that obviously I have a history in you know e-commerce and dropshipping. That's what I do. But obviously, when you see an opportunity like Bitcoin, where people are getting these insane returns, you know, how could you not be you know more open to learning more about it? So for me personally, I started learning and hearing more about crypto and Bitcoin. I would say around the summertime, a few months ago. I would say maybe four or five months ago. And at that time, it was actually you know still decently high. I think around it was around like the two thousand dollar range when I first started to hear about it. Obviously, you guys see now. You know, it's jumped up, it's skyrocketed. It's, you know, it's had its biggest time, it's peak time. And now it's actually, at this day and age, right now today I actually dropped down pretty low again. It's around $10,000 as we speak. Uh, I actually pulled it up, you know, on my phone here. Let's actually double check it. Uh, crazy part is that I was planning on uh, grabbing some Bitcoin uh, and also some Litecoin because I saw how low it was today. Around an hour after when I checked, I had to do something. So I didn't get to grab it at the time. When I was gonna grab it, it was actually about $11,300. And now it actually, it would, early when I checked it, it dropped down to 10,000. Anyway, besides all that, I wanted to kind of just share with you guys some of the things that I already know about crypto and some of the things that I don't know about and what I am planning on learning about. So what I'll do is I have some things here on my computer, we'll just jump right in. I'll kind of, you know, kind of walk through the things that I want to learn more about and some of the things that I already know. So, you know, obviously when getting into cryptocurrency, you want to make sure pretty much anything that you start to get into, you want to learn more about. So for me personally, I want to start learning more about cryptocurrency and like, you know, what it actually is, how it actually works. A definition that I actually looked up for cryptocurrency is, you know, something that has limited entries in a database. No one can change it without fulfilling specific conditions. This may seem ordinary, but believe it or not, this is exactly how you can define a currency. This is the definition that I somewhat found, you know, for cryptocurrency and, you know, kind of like the way it works. So to kind of get started, you know, I don't know too much about cryptocurrency. I know it's like, you know, a form of like, online digital currency but i don't know too much about it so i am planning on learning a lot more about the background of cryptocurrency you know how it works and you know learning more about just you know how it came into play and why you know it's been getting so so huge in just this last year or so you know one of the next things i want to kind of talk about obviously you guys know the way crypto works is there's a behind it there's a what's called a blockchain technology um, based on the definition i actually found online it says to be that it's the language in the language of cryptocurrency, a block is a record of new transactions. That can mean the location of cryptocurrency or medical data or even voting records. Once each block is completed, it's added to the chain, creating a chain of blocks, a blockchain. What the hell is that? Of course, you know, just like that's exactly what I, what I thought when I first started learning about Bitcoin and crypto and pretty much everything about it. I actually watched this video on YouTube explaining the way cryptocurrency and Bitcoin work. And honestly, like that video just blew and made my brain hurt trying to understand it. Uh, so it is obviously not the easiest thing to understand, but it is something that will be shifting, you know, the economy. Obviously, you guys know a lot of the things that when it comes to the Internet, you know, things have already changed so much with the Internet and the power behind it. The Internet has changed things so drastically. You can expect also cryptocurrencies to change things as well. So obviously, it's something that you want to learn more about, especially because nowadays you can buy cars with cryptocurrencies and you can buy flights. A lot of places are starting to accept crypto cryptocurrencies. You guys know that, you know, Elon Musk, which I'm a huge fan of, a huge entrepreneur. Um, he's the founder of Tesla. He accepts Bitcoin, you know, to buy his car. So a lot of places are starting to accept this type of currency. So obviously you want to know, you know, more about it. So some of the things I already know about right here, a website where you can actually take a look at all the coins and, you know, the market cap, the size of the coins is this website right here, coinmarketcap.com. It pretty much has all the coins on there and you can check it out, you know, to see all different coins or stats, things like that and the numbers. This, you can use that resource. Again, I'm sharing these resources with you guys. Uh, based on you know my understanding that these are you know the most used resources so I've asked you know multiple people and I also researched a lot and saw that you know within YouTube the YouTube community a lot of the big crypto you know crypto guys and also 
you know, from the other Bitcoin and crypto guys that I've learned from, these are the resources that they're using. So these are the same uses, resources that I'm going to be using as well, since a lot of the top, you know, cryptocurrency guys are using them. So one of the resources you guys can use if you're ever, if you're already interested in buying more Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies is Coinbase.com is a website where you can use to buy a lot of the bigger coins. Like obviously you guys know you have the top, you know, the biggest coins. You have Bitcoin, which is obviously the biggest. You have then Ethereum and then you have Litecoin. Uh, and then Bitcoin Cash. So those are the biggest cryptocurrencies. And these cryptocurrencies, you can actually buy them on Coinbase.com. That's the website that seems to be used. It's one of the biggest and most tr trusted websites to buy cryptocurrencies. You guys can also use GDAX.com to buy you know, some of these bigger coins. And they actually, they're actually owned by Coinbase, so no big change. Again, I'm not recommending that you buy these coins. Um, the, I'm just showing you guys a website where I learned that you can buy some of the biggest coins. Uh, a lot of the bigger guys, and, you know, people in the crypto space do recommend that you, you know, you start off with some of the bigger coins and then kind of work your way down to the smaller coins. Another resource you can use to learn more about, you know, Coinbase and what they do is right here, blog.coinbase.com. That's a great resource you can also use. I have these bookmarked on a separate screen in my, you know, my computer. So whenever I'm doing my I'm learning more about crypto and doing my research, um, this is one website that I actually use myself. Uh, some of the exchanges, basically the way that it works is, you know, when it comes to the bigger coins, basically you can buy, basically the way that it works is these two, you know, what the biggest exchanges are, you know, Coinbase.com and GDAX on there, you can buy, you know, the biggest coins. And basically from there, what you have to do is you, can, you can't buy the smaller coins that are, you know, that are available from those two exchanges. Usually you need other exchanges to be able to buy, you know, smaller coins. So what you do is you buy either on Coinbase or GDAX first. After you buy from there, you can then transfer, you know, from Coinbase or GDAX onto one of these exchanges. And after you transfer, you know, your crypto from these current, from this exchange, from like the bigger ones like Coinbase or GDAX, you then go to the smaller exchange and you can buy some of the smaller coins if you want to. And small coins are also known as, alt, as altcoins. You guys may hear these terms being said and that's why just some of the smaller coins are what's considered to be an altcoin. So some of the most common exchanges that I've seen based on a lot of people is, you know, Binance.com. Um, you also have Bittrex.com and Shape, Shapeshift.io. I personally have been on Binance.com and Bittrex. I don't know too much about Shape, Shapeshift, but it is another w website that I, you know, that did hear and get recommended by another top crypto guy. So uh, I figured I'd share that with you guys. These are the common exchanges you guys can use for, you know, for your smaller coins. Now, one thing that I did want to transition to is one thing that I learned from, you know, this guy, Brock Pierce. For those of you guys who don't know Brock Pierce, he's the founder of EOS. Um, Ty Lopez actually had him on his show and he was actually talking about, you know, how you should not keep, you know, if there's any of you guys that have already bought in cryptocurrencies or you're getting into it, uh, one of the things that they recommended is to not keep, you know, the, whatever you invest into cryptocurrencies on the exchanges like either Coinbase.com or maybe like smaller exchange like Binance. All right, so you wanna make sure you're not keeping any of your, you know, cryptocurrencies or at least the majority of your cryptocurrencies on any of the big exchanges or, you know, either small or big exchanges, either on Coinbase or, you know, let's say Bittrex or Binance. You wanna make sure you have, you know, just a minimal amount on there. You know, once you have a large amount of your, you know, your Bitcoin, I know some of you guys may be starters, but let's say if you already have a large amount of, you know, any of these cryptocurrencies, you then wanna take them off an exchange and put them on a wallet. A wallet is just a, a form, literally like somewhat of a wallet, except for like an actual wallet in real life where you keep your money in, except for cryptocurrency. So you wanna make sure you're not keeping a majority of the crypto on exchange. There's different kinds of wallets. Again, there's a whole, you know, another video I could record on just wallets, learning more about wallets, but I'm just trying to give you guys basically like somewhat of a long story short, even though cryptocurrencies is huge, just get somewhat of an understanding, right? So when it comes down to keeping it on a wallet, a wallet that they recommend that seems to work really well based on a lot of different people is a Ledger Nano. Yeah, so it's a Ledger Nano, and you can look it up. I'm pretty sure there's like a website called ledgerwallet.com or something like ledgerwallet.com. So I haven't looked too, too much into the actual website because I haven't had you obviously, I don't have too much cryptocurrency to really move anywhere, so I haven't really looked into it. But I did hear that one of the things you want to make sure you don't do in case anything happens to any of these platforms is that you're not keeping them on these exchanges. So uh, Ledger Nano S, I believe it could be. I'll say Ledger Nano, but I'm pretty sure it's like Ledger Nano S that you can get as a wallet. And that's one of the most trusted and recommended wallets as well to keep your cryptocurrencies on. One website that seems to be pretty commonly known as Reddit.com. They seem to be staying pretty much up to date slash crypto currency 
Uh, this website seems to be staying pretty up to date. Everybody talks about, you know, checking on that website before they pretty much, you know, I, I know some guys that do some, you know, some trading and some day trading and they say somewhat of their process before they invest in any coin is that they go through these resources. And one of the resources they check all the time is reddit.com simply to check like what's going on, you know, what's, what's the news, different things, what's trending right now, just to get an idea. So reddit.com seems to be a, a pretty good website to get some, you know, some insight from Bitcoin talk dot org every single resource that i just shared with you guys isn't a resource that i just i'm just throwing out there uh, without having any type of background on it these are resources that half of them came from you know a certain amount of crypto guys on youtube and another half came from guys like brock pierce that was brought on by ty lopez onto his you know crypto show so that's where i learned it from again i figured i'd recommend it to you guys i have been spending a good amount of time learning about cryptocurrency so i figured i'd share some of the resources that i'm learning from so i hope you guys got value from you know, obviously learning a little bit about what I know about cryptocurrencies, what I'm planning on learning more about. I will be, you know, dropping a lot more videos showing you guys like what kind of investing investments I'm making. I'm not planning on, you know, getting into like the whole day trading thing because that takes up a lot of time and you have to really be committed for it. I'm planning until I'm looking into more maybe like swing trading, but mainly like long term investing into these cryptocurrencies or really hold them and, you know, obviously not try to cash out on them right away, even though obviously you want to make money from them. But Obviously, I want to be smart about my investments. Um, I want to learn more about mining. It seems pretty interesting. But yeah, so far, that's what I'm planning on doing as far as crypto, crypto goes. I'd recommend for you guys, if you don't know anything about crypto, check it out, learn more about it. It is going to be changing the things, you know, and uh, well, it already is changing a lot of things and how it works up to date. You never want to be the last one to take advantage of, you know, an opportunity. You never want to be the first or the last one. You want to catch a trend you know, pretty much when it's at a good time where you can still make some money off it. There's a reason behind cryptocurrencies, like they all have, all different cryptocurrencies basically have their own, you know, standing and they have their own mission that they're trying to do. So obviously that's something that I want to learn more about, you know, really learning about the coins that I'm investing in and things like that. So if you got any value from this video, leave me a thumbs up. Also leave me some feedback. Let me know what you guys are doing in terms of crypto, what you're learning about, any other resources that you guys recommend for me. Um, I'd, you know, I'd be more than willing to check it out. Obviously I'm really open to learning more about it. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the V fam, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.